Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a few products to try and I'm kind of excited for them. I have these new Patrick Ta. This is a lipstick, the volumizing lipstick, and this is the blush. Uh, this is in She's Blushing and I have all the other ones that he came out with individual and I'll swatch them and show you guys comparison. But I'm also going to show you guys this primer. This is the Hourglass Vanish Primer. And I have tried that once and I was kind of blown away. I really loved it. So I thought I should just kind of make a small video just using these products, showing you some comparison in the blushes and just have some fun. So if you guys are interested, continue watching. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you enjoy the channel and let's play with some makeup. So I'm going to start with the Hourglass Primer. I had a sample of this one and I tried it on and I just really loved it. I thought it made my foundation look so good, so smooth. This is the packaging and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's nice and heavy. It's just, this just feels like glass. See the this is plastic on top, but it's a beautiful gold and just sleek packaging. I really enjoy it. Um, and then Hourglass had another primer. I actually have a small sample here. Right here, I have a small sample of this one. This is the Veil Primer. And that one was fine. It was a little bit drying for me. So I just never really fallen in love with it. But this one felt a little bit more moisturizing than that one, but very smoothing like over the pores um in my t-zone it's still i would say a primer that's better for normal to combo to oily i'm not sure if, if this is the best for very dry skin but i have normal to dry and i love it it says here to just smooth over onto moisturized skin with fingertips follow with your desired foundation i want to look on sephora and see what they say about this primer it actually has great reviews um it is a translucent skin perfecting primer that smooths smooths absorbs shine and adds a visible blurred airbrushed finish while extending makeup wear um and it says it's best for dry combo normal skin um good for pores it's a natural finish um so kind of kind of talked about that so let's pump this here if it will come there we go so it's kind of like a cream comes out and when I blend it in here it's moisturizing but it it has almost like a silicone feel at the end it's not too silicone where um like if you don't like that super intense silicone you may still enjoy this one because it feels moisturizing but it feels um just very smoothing i take that one even under my eyes a little bit the leftover just for my eye wrinkles because i really think that this helps so much with the pores with the appearance of fine lines um, and I do think it keeps things matte. It has almost like a powdery finish. Um, it's not super intense, but it's not sticky. It doesn't stay sticky. So far, I really like this one. Again, I've only worn it white once, but usually I can tell if I like a primer or not pretty quickly. I don't like something that's too silicone-y where like, you can feel it and you could slide. Uh, and this is mattifying in the best way. Like It's not drying. It's just mattifying this area and it's like poor feeling. All right, with this, I wanna try the NARS foundation. I only tried the Dior with this one and I thought it looked absolutely stunning and the Dior matte foundation guys it's so good but that one's a little bit more matte so I wanted to try this NARS because I've had issues with this lasting super long so I thought why don't I just try this with this primer and see if it helps I can leave in the description down below um, if it did last better throughout the day um, and there's a new primer from Tom Ford the soft matte primer it just came at Sephora and I'm so tempted to get it because I've heard great things about it but 
uh, I don't know if you guys are interested. I don't even know if it's a reformulated product or is it brand new? I have no idea. So I'm going to do this NARS one real quick. That actually went on so much smoother. It over the pores, it looks poreless. Um, just overall around the fine lines, it looks just flawless, uh, which I'm so happy because guys, this is such a beautiful finish on the foundation. And the fact that it didn't last well, it didn't wear it well, I was hesitant to wear it. But if I can make this work, oops, I just dropped this. <laughs> but if I can wear this work with uh, this primer, ooh, that would be so, so nice because I do get compliments on that foundation when I just put it on, but throughout the day, it's like kind of breaking apart. Mm, it's looking much better than normal, so I'm super excited. And you guys, I, th I do believe in primers and prepping your skin because a foundation will go on so much different if you do have a good skincare routine or you take care of your skin before or you have a good primer that's either gripping or p like pore filling or luminous whatever it is that um you know you want to emphasize on your skin i think a good primer can really really make a difference i know not everybody agrees with me but i personally from my experience with clients you working on so many different skin tones i think I think it makes a big difference and finding a good primer for me is so important. I think that's why I'm kind of interested in the Tom Ford. You guys let me know if you guys want to see a review, maybe a comparison between these two primers, the Tom Ford and the Veil, because they're both expensive. Obviously Tom Ford is more expensive, but they're both like a pretty penny. For concealer, I'm going to take my new LYS concealer. It's so good. I really enjoy it. And then in the NARS, I was the color L5 Fiji. So I'm gonna just put this on and make myself look nice and awake like I slept so much. really enjoy that concealer it's so easy so smoothing it works really well and i'm actually going to use their powder as well the list lys powder and um, this is in i think the lightest one the translucent and i think these two work so so well together i'm just taking a little bit off and just setting right under here looking good i'm really liking the skin right now i'm actually gonna do my bronzer real quick my brows and then i'll come back for the blush and the lips we have finished the skin and i'm telling you guys that primer made such a huge difference in how this foundation sits on the skin i'm actually in love with the foundation right now because i think it toned it down just a little bit it blended in you know, like smoother, the pores look flawless, uh, the, around here, around here, it looks so good. So I'm really liking that. Um, on the eyes, I used this beautiful Tom Ford quad. This is in Smoky Quartz and it's my favorite out of the Tom, Tom Ford quads, the three Tom Ford quads that came out. If it's a day-to-day, -day, I go for this one. If I want a smoky look, I go for this one. If I want just to look like just smoky and like intense and like, I go for this one. If I want just an elegant look, I go for this one. I find this very appropriate for just any event, really. Um, I used these three colors right here. I didn't even touch that one. But if you want something less smoky, you could just do these two colors. 
sorry, I have an itch. <laughs> uh, and like, this is a great liner. I just love this quad. All right, let's move on to uh, the blush. It's right here. Actually, no. Let's move on to the lip gloss. This is volumizing and I have tried it once and it's tingly. I want to read about this one real quick and see what Sephora has to say. So this is plumping. It's a look formula, hydrating long, wearing, no, a high shine finish. So this is I want to see what it has in it. it. To me, it was cinnamony. That's kind of what made it plumpy. It is a delicious tingly gloss for visibly plump, pillowy soft lips. Um, it, yeah, cinnamon and ginger. Rapidly and visibly volumized while adding natural color. So you can definitely feel that when you first apply it. I got the shade uh, superficial and it literally looks like my lip, like, clear it doesn't really have a color so i'll show you the packaging this is the packaging i think it's really pretty it has a big old doe foot applicator and you saw like how much gloss came out and this doe foot applicator has a dip in there that holds more product and i'll show you here a swatch of the product to me, on my lips, it literally looks like clear. It's a very, very light. Um, it just has that shine. Um, my lips, see guys, like my lips blend into my foundation. So that's why I feel like I always have to have a lip liner to show people that I have lips. So I am going to take a Victoria Beckham number two and use this just to give it some color to my lips. That gives just a little bit of color to my lips. And then I'm gonna put this on. The reason I wanted to put this on first is to see if there's any difference. This is a very like goopy when you take it out, a lot comes out. But it, I, I would say it's a little sticky. Uh, let me put it on first. So that's it right there. If I didn't have the lip liner, it literally would look just like my lips. Well, with the lip liner, which I probably would always wear it like that, um, it has a beautiful finish. It has a gloss to it. This in itself, I think, has sparkles, like little gold speckles. They're so just soft. Um, I can feel it tingling already. Uh, if you put it too outside of your lips, it's almost like plumping the outside of your lips and the top um, because it tingles there. But I did wear it the other day and I did feel like my lips looked plumper uh, because they're tingly, so it brings like blood flow there. Um, but it's nice, it's not too tingly, but you feel it, which I enjoy that. I wanna feel like if it's tingly, like supposed to be plumping i want a little bit of something to feel but it's nothing intense it kind of reminds you of the buxom ones and um it's not sticky like my lips don't stick together but my hair will stick on it so you know if i walk around and the hair is like flying around it's gonna get stuck to my lips we're gonna leave this on and see how it looks at the end um Okay, moving on to the blush. So here I have the She's Blushing. I didn't take it out, I didn't look at it, but online, it's one of those that I'm like, that needs to come home with me. Okay. Packaging comes in another one, and this is it right here. It will get fingerprints all the time. <laughs> And then the the opening comes from the bottom. Ooh, I just almost ruined it. So this is the color. And this one looks like it has a sheen to it. Kind of ruined it a little bit. But this cream one, it doesn't seem like it's matte. But um, I'll swatch it and everything. And that's the cream. Let me take that off. Ooh, 
this looks wonderful. Uh, I'm gonna put it on and we're gonna do comparison after because I can't wait. So let's swatch this right here. This seems a very creamy, picks up quite a bit. And that is the color, yes, yes, yes. Oh, beautiful. Let me get this one, swatch this one. Um, the She's So LA is one of my favorite blushes from him. Um, okay, so those are the two colors. This one matches a little bit my top. It's a bit more pinkier, but uh, wow, I love this. I feel like this is a new formula. Let me look at the other ones. Like it feels much softer. Yeah, to me it feels softer and almost like it has a sheen to it, but it's not shiny, it doesn't have glitters in it, but it has almost like a sheen to it. So when I look at it in the pan, it almost has like extra, extra tiny gold sparkles through it, but they don't get picked up here. I'm sure you're not gonna be able to tell there, but I'll do my best to kind of move it every way to see if you guys can tell. And this is the swatch. Super, super, super excited about this one. So we are gonna take the powder first because that's what they say to do. I'm getting my Real Techniques blush brush and tap a little bit off and then go here. Oh wow, this is very pigmented. Blend this out. Wow, I added way too much. I'm gonna clean the brush. Wow, this is so intense. But so stunning. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and try to fix my little mess up. I definitely put too much on the brush. So we calmed that down just a little bit. It's still pretty intense, but absolutely stunning. This color is stunning. Let me do the cream alone on this side so we can kind of compare and then we'll mix and match. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm just gonna clean with my Sephora Refresh Daily Clean. It's so good. Patty, she's the one that got me onto this. Okay, so I'm gonna take the cream version and add it to this cheek. So this is the cream. See, it's a little softer, but again, I did just add too much when I did the powder here. I didn't think it was that intense. So let me calm this down just a little bit. Um, the, this is the powder and this is the cream. Oh, so stunning, both of them. So let's put a little bit of the cream on top of this cheek and see how that looks. So. I'm gonna take a little bit and make us even more blushier. It just gives such a beautiful finish and glow. See, it's so pretty. And it's so easy to work with. Like I just pat it in a little bit and then you're done. I'm gonna take a little bit of this one and try to match this side. I'm very impressed with the powder on this one. It feels even creamier than the other ones, or maybe it's just new. And I'm used to the ones that I already have here, which, you know, I've used a lot. So I definitely like cream on top rather than the powder, um, like he suggests, but they're both beautiful. I will take a little bit of the powder that I used for from LYS, where is it? Right here, I feel like I'm very blushy. So I'm taking a little bit of that powder and I am just cleaning off the edges of this just a little bit. 
so it won't be quite as intense. Um, I think usually I'd be just a little bit more careful. Don't add quite this much. But I think, I think it's good for you guys to see just how much this can apply and what to expect. I am just so in love with this color. The formula blends in so fast. Even though I put so much by mistake, it still looks good, you know? And you know, in general, blush is the first thing that kind of washes away. So if you add just a little bit more blush in the beginning, don't freak out, wait an hour and you'll see that like, it just blends in. So, um, loving loving this so much let's look at some comparisons not putting any highlighter because this has enough glow as it is so here are all the blushes that i own from patrick ta and this again is my favorite that i own so far pretty much i've used it so so much this is she's so la and i want to kind of swatch the ones that are similar tones or depth um and show you guys i also have this one do we know her obviously this is nothing like the other ones but the one that i find this similar is this one right here from his major headlines blush palette and i thought that these three are the ones that kind of look similar right here even though they look similar they are not the same at all and i will swatch them for you guys obviously the pinks here and the this coral intense coral coral pink um they're very different so i'm not even gonna bother with those but i will swatch these three next to each other they also have like a plumier color i don't own that one but one day i will so let's swatch first this one i think this is called she's baked and this came by itself and we were asking for that um Last time when I did this palette, I'm like, I wish they would just come out with this one by itself because I personally don't use these colors a lot, but this one I definitely use. So let me take my watch off. So here we have She's Baked. Then let's swatch the one that I just tried. The next one is She's Blushing, which is what I'm wearing right now. And then let's swatch the last one. I'll show you guys close-ups, better swatches than this, but I want you guys to see them now with me comparing them. And this one right here is She's So LA, which is definitely a lot more brown. So I would say that She's So LA, the one down here, is the one that's the most brown. The most pinky, blushy color is definitely She's Blushing, a good name for it. And this one's more plummy, a little bit deeper. Um, it has a little bit of a rose to it in a slight plum, mostly in this cream color right here. Um, but I'm loving all of them. I'm tempted to get the She's Blushing, no, She's Baked, this one right here uh, by itself because I just don't reach for this palette as much because it is kind of so big. However, uh, for my kit, it's actually really nice to have. So I'm thinking put this one in my kit and just get the individual one for home. But I'm just like, ooh, these colors for blushes is just where my heart is. I am loving all of them. I think my cheeks look so good. I think if I want to look a little bit more blushy, I would go for this one. She's blushing. Uh, if I want to look a little bit more monochrome, um, actually the She's So LA is the one I'm trying to talk about, is the one that if I don't know what to use, I go for this one because I feel like it works with everything. It's not quite a bronzer even though people think that oh it looks like a bronzer it really isn't it has that rose in it um that it it makes it definitely a blush but it works with pretty much any look i have it's not too warm it's not too rosy it's not too pink uh and it's just so so beautiful but i think for summer this this 
she's blushing is really good and she's baked it just a little bit more just intense when you want the cheeks to just take over a little bit it's not unwearable i'm pretty light and i can still wear it and it looks really good just be careful with how much you add don't do what i did here and just add it so much at once all right back to the lips what do you think is it the same as when i applied it i don't know because i have to look in the camera in here i feel like they look kind of the same as initial application um i feel like it it makes them a little fuller in a way because they're tingly. Uh, so on initially, you feel like that tingly and they're plumper. But that does go away. Right now, I don't really feel it very slightly, almost like it's a coldness on my lips. A little minty, but nothing insane. And I feel like the glossiness of it is kind of toned down than when I initially applied it. Don't you guys think so? I'm gonna apply it again just so you guys see how glossy it really is. So that is how it looked when I first applied it, which is kind of glossy. I feel like I see a difference. So I reapplied and I can already feel the tingling happening. Uh, and I really like the gloss that it gives. It just doesn't last. It actually doesn't last long at all. And I feel like if it lasted just a little longer, I would give it like a thumbs up. But because it's really pretty much gone within 15, 20 minutes, I just feel like I always have to reapply. And I feel like, see, my, my lips are sticking together. <laughs> like, I hate that. I'm going to actually wipe some of that off. Because I hate when I see that. You can see the lips kind of just sticking together a little bit i probably also applied a little much right there wiped it off i think it'll be good now but i enjoy it um it's nice for on the go just apply something even by itself the color is pretty much clear on me i don't really see any difference in the coloring but because it plumps this the lips i feel like that gives my lips a little bit of color so i enjoy it i just don't think it's anything special and I think it's kind of pricey 20 something dollars if I'm not mistaken it's 24 dollars so you know if you're super into these kind of lipsticks it may be worth it it's nice it's not too sticky it feels nice on the skin I do think it removes the lines in my lips um and it's nice it just doesn't last well the foundation is looking fantastic. Uh, it's never looked this good. And I really think it's that primer. I think the primer so far is fantastic. Last time I wore it, it made my foundation last all day long and it looked beautiful. So I am pretty sure this is a big thumbs up from me. And then the blush, of course, I'm absolutely in love. I think he did a great job. Um, I absolutely adore the formula very creamy i love that you get two in one you can mix and match and just stunning stunning colors all right guys and that is all for today i hope you guys enjoyed it i really enjoyed had to, so much fun just playing with this makeup uh and i feel i feel good i feel ready to go full clothes i'm just kidding i actually have somewhere to go today so uh leave me your thoughts down below your comments give this video a like if you enjoyed it it helps the channel just grow and i'll see you guys in my next video bye